Alright, so today I would like to do just a little bit of a show and tell shopping haul as I do sometimes. Uh, certain items that I have bought um, maybe over the past few weeks or maybe even a couple of months or so. Um, so I've gathered up things from different categories. Okay. So, we'll just get started. Um, I'm never sure which to start with. Usually, it's sort of a rule to start with the most noisy thing. And I guess that would be this. Now, I would like to um, also include some video of myself actually using some of these items in between showing them to you, so it'll be a little bit different. So I won't be able to show all of these things, but I can show you this. And um, I have some clothing items, maybe I'll try them on and add that into the video. And I have some beauty products that I can maybe show to you as well, okay? Alright, so this first thing here is pretty cool. This is uh, like a massager. It's like a self-massaging tool. I got this from Target and it's sort of exactly what I was looking for. So I, I do work out and um, I tend to get really kind of sore calf muscles, I guess the type of workout that I do. But this really does help along with wearing some compression sleeves around my calves. I can show you those too. This just has these little, I don't know if it's like rubber, uh, little things that spin, and you can see it stretches, but it's, uh, it's pretty tight. So how it works is you can um, kind of put this over your leg. I will show how to do that, and then it, you kind of just roll it up and down, or maybe on your thigh as well, and uh, it massages and kind of softens up the muscles in your legs. So it's like a foam roller, actually, uh, but you know the traditional foam rollers if you know what those are, I have done a video using those. They're sort of just um, like little rollers that maybe you put on the floor and you put pressure on top of the... Uh, well, you put pressure onto your muscles by placing your leg or whatever body part on top of the foam roller. Like, let's say this way, so you'd put your leg on here and then you roll back and forth on top of the roller, which is nice too, but I kind of wanted something like this where I could just kind of squeeze my muscle like that and massage it. So this is really nice. I use it every day. Okay, so that's cool. I think it was only $20. It's made by um, GoFit. Alright, so I use that a lot. And uh, this item here, this is, um, I also got this on the same trip, same shopping trip. I got this from Target. This is a stainless steel roller ball. I haven't used this yet. It's been sitting in my refrigerator. 
Um, so it's, it's just another roller to help and ease any kind of pain or swelling that you might have because um, that's kind of what happens when you work out your muscles and all your tissues and everything can get swollen and they sort of compress each other so it starts to hurt and they kind of like harden a little bit so the roller helps to loosen up your muscles and um, this I thought would just feel really nice to kind of cool and um, help to reduce any swelling so um let's see it there so I keep it in the fridge um, I did not plan to buy this uh, for a long time before um, I I sit in a chair when I'm working during the day and at the bottom um, the base of the chair has stainless steel legs and sometimes because I work from home I would have my socks and shoes off and I would put my feet onto the legs of the chair and I noticed that it would feel really good and I used to think, oh well there must be some sort of some sort of um, you know, fitness item they must sell these stainless steel things to do massage with, maybe like sport massage or something like that, because it does feel really good, so I just haven't, uh, haven't tried it out yet, but maybe I'll do that today. <laughs> uh, so I just keep it in the fridge to keep it nice and cool. So that is the next item. And let's see, let's move on to this top. I know it looks looks like a doily, but it's not. This is a, a knit sleeveless top. design there. So I got this because I was going to a 70s themed birthday party and I didn't want to be like costumey. Um, I just wanted to kind of get something that maybe someone might have actually worn in the 70s. I'm not uh, totally sure if I did a good job or not, but I think so. I <laughs> uh, just thought it was kind of cute. I wore it with a pair of bell-bottom jeans, and I wore it with one of those belts that is, uh, what do you call it, like sort of woven and it had the like strings hanging down and then I had a pair of like wedge sandals, really high wedge sandals already that I wore in the 90s <laughs> but I've just saved them all these years just to wear again. I knew they'd come in handy again someday. <laughs> I think I wore them uh, a few times, but in the 90s, you know, it was sort of like the 70s came back a little bit with the flare leg and all that. So those little sandals that I had were perfect for my 70s outfit. Now this is a small crop top, which I can't wear, but uh, I had another shirt underneath of it. 
And of course I did my hair with the part down the middle, nice and straight. So that was fun. I got this off of Amazon. It's cute. Not sure that I'll ever wear it again, but... And it did come in different colors as well, so... Okay, let's see... Okay, so let's have a look at this guy. This is a, um, Squishmallow. Maybe you've seen these. Might look like just another stuffed animal which I'm kind of surprised that I bought this. I don't usually buy, like, toys. Well, maybe sometimes I do, actually. These types of, like, sensory toys. This is so... these Squishmallows are so extremely soft. I just love to just feel how soft it is. <laughs> um, and I liked the color. I liked it was sort of like an adulty color, you know, the gray. A little bit of green and pink. But I love, um, not sure if you could see the pattern in the fabric. It's got sort of like a I guess it's supposed to be like a crocodile or a cute little, I don't know, dinosaur? What would that be? I am not sure, but it has the, the pattern of something like that, like a reptile. hold it sometimes while I'm sitting watching TV and just go like that and do that to the little little things there. It's so cute. So this one's name is Xander. Okay. back. Alright, so next let me show you this kind of strange item here. So this is a very, well, I don't know how old it is. It's an iron. Um, I got this from the thrift store. Really, um, the only reason I can say that I bought this was to maybe use in a video. I thought that it looked really, really cool. I don't think I've ever really seen an iron that looks like this before. Um, kind of beat up looking, right? And um, the bottom, I don't know if I can clean that or not. It was only like four dollars or something, so I thought it was cool enough to spend four dollars on. I'll have to look up and see if there's any way to clean the bottom of an iron. I will probably add in some 
footage of me using this iron, if it works. This is from General Electric. I don't know, my husband says it looks like it's a, like a travel iron. Like one that you can take along with you um, because of the, the uh, plug here. Like it's an adapter that you might use in other countries. So he doesn't seem to think that the iron is very old. I don't know, I think it looks pretty old to me. I'll have to try to, you know, see what I can find maybe on Google or something. So General Electric, so I guess, um, let me add in some, some video of myself using this iron, okay? And how about if we look at some of the Bath and Body products? Alright, so this brand here, you can see. Okay. So the brand is called Smelly Rose. Uh, this one is called Timeless. Okay, so this is a 100% natural infused body oil. And this one is supposed to be for mature skin. So the directions are to apply to your damp skin after a shower or bath and massage into the face, neck, and body. Okay, so this is a brand that I have used before and uh, my husband likes to get it for me sometimes as a gift for, you know, let's say Mother's Day or something like that. So I'm not sure how well you can see here if I'm capturing how pretty the container is. You can see all the different flowers and things in there. All right. Um, and I do feel like I need to mention, just to be completely honest, I do happen to be familiar with the woman that makes these products. Uh, but, um, I've been using these products for a few years now. This is really nice. Um, I love the scent of these products. I really like this oil that they have because um, I just love the glass jar and the dropper. Let's see? To me, it's just fun to put it on after a shower. Uh, it feels kind of, like, luxurious. I just really love the glass container that it comes in, and I love the way it smells. And it um, feels just really natural and light. And it doesn't leave my skin feeling very oily. It just kind of absorbs. Okay, so that's one from them. And I have a few more because it was given to me in a uh, gift box. So it usually comes with some little extras, like little tools to use your products. There's a nice cute little wooden spoon. Um, this little bath fluff also came in the box. Nice and soft. I haven't used this yet. Just 
just a nice presentation. Um, the box also had this pretty sage stick. I've had a few of these. Uh, I'm not sure that looks like rose petals on there. That's not pretty. I think I've gotten two different um, gift boxes from them so far, and each time they've had a, a nice different sage stick. So I'll have to do a video using the sage as well. That will be nice. Okay. was this really pretty jar of bath salts. Isn't it gorgeous? The whole presentation is just really nice. I'm not sure what kinds of different herbs are in this one. But it's just really pretty and it looks nice kind of just sitting in the bathroom maybe. And here are some of the, um, these are salt scrubs, body scrubs, and this is um, one of the first ones I ever got. This is called Melon Love. Let's see. loved the color of this, light green. I've used this before. I've tried a few different of the scents, and this is my favorite. This is Cucumber Melon, and it smells perfect to me. It's really light and natural scent. It doesn't smell too perfumey. And um, it feels really good. There's nice oils in there. And again, they don't sit on your skin. They just kind of moisturize and leave a nice scent. So this one has Dead Sea Salt, Foaming Bath Butter, Jojoba Beans, or I'm not sure if that's right, and some fragrance oil. Says melon love. You can see how nice that looks. I almost want to eat it. Almost. <laughs> okay, so that's one. And here is another scent same product. This one is called Pink Clouds. This is with Pink Mimosa Fragrance. Um, this one has Dead Sea Salt. Um, foaming Bath Butter, Vitamin E Oil, and Fragrance Oil. Now that my husband knows I like this, that's what he tends to get me for all of uh, the different ho holidays, like Valentine's Day or things like that. And this is another one, um, Whipped Salt Scrub. Mix of honey, musk, and fruit. like dessert. And I think that's partly why I like them so much. But they do work really good. Um, so. There we go. Alright, so let's 
have a look at this lotion here. This is from the brand EOS. You can see. So now they've been kind of around for a while. I'm always happy with the products that I buy from them. I think I've had some of the like lip, you know, chapstick type things and the lotions. I am a sucker for a pretty container. So I think that's why I like their brand as well, but the products are always really nice. This is a body lotion. It's made with shea butter. It's like a nice thickness. It's not too thick and it's not um, very perfumey. Just also feels pretty natural. This is in the scent Vanilla Cashmere. Okay. And just has this pretty purple container. And it's like, I like the shape that it's nice and thin so it just kind of sits up against the wall. <laughs> okay, but it is a nice moisturizer, so. And of course, this brand I have grown to really like a lot. Um, this is Native. They have so many different products. Now, um, I think I just decided to try them out because my son started using it. Um, I think he likes to use their deodorants other things. So I thought, and also I really like the container as well. I like that it's very simple and um, all of the different products have their you know, name in just a different color so it just looks nice. Uh, this is a volumizing shampoo and this is in the scent Cucumber Mint. This, I think, has to be my favorite scent that I have found in any shampoo and conditioner so far. I really like um, another one, I think, that I have shown in a video. I think it's Fructis. They're um, clean. Pure Clean or something. That scent is really, really nice. This is, I love it so much. Cucumber Mint. So, it's um, thoughtfully made with 10 ingredients or less. It feels really kind of natural and simple and the scent uh, is really natural and uh, it just feels like it doesn't have a lot of junk in it and perfumes and things like that. Um, so you see the ingredients. Um, water, a couple different cleansers derived from plant oils, um, different things for pH balance, salt, cucumber and mint and something that's for hair detangler from cellulose. This was made in San Francisco, California. Okay, so I love this um, scent of this. And... So that's cute. They had this one on sale in Target. They had a whole line of um, Girl Scout, like the Girl Scout cookies, the scents from them, and I just had to pick one up. I picked um, this one because it's also volumizing, and it's Thin Mint scent. So I guess I like mint. I haven't tried this yet either. 
Um, but they had all of the different cookie scents. What are they called? I forget all of them. I can't think of them right now. Thanks a lot, and the little women ones, and I can't remember what they're all called. But even the peanut butter ones, I almost bought that one. <laughs> but I thought maybe I shouldn't walk around smelling like peanut butter. Um, so it says, classically sweet scent. And says, do not eat. Alright, so I'll have to try that one out. And then I thought I would try one more. This is a body wash. I thought maybe um, <coughs> that would be really nice too. This one is in the sea salt and cedar scent. Again, native body wash. Yeah, it smells really, really good. Okay. So I'll give that one a try. The containers are just so simple. I really like that. So these here These are our different soaps Okay, so I got three of them So these I got from Giant I guess maybe this is their brand of um bath and body type products. It's on Nature's Promise Beauty. They're vegan. Okay, I love soaps. I love soap and all. Um, I don't know. Soap just smells so good to me. Um, this is Energizing Moisture. There's three different uh, types that I got. Oh, there. I think soaps are just packaged so nicely. I love the way they look. These sort of special bars of soap. Not just like the regular ones of, you know, Dove or Irish Spring or those ones. These ones are so pretty. essential oil-based fragrance. Okay, so you see the pretty image of the lavender. And the next one is um, antioxidant moisture. They're all vegan. This 
one has shea butter and vitamin C to nourish and hydrate dry skin. And this one is grapefruit and bergamot scented. Okay. Love it. Finally, the last one here is Energizing Moisture Triple Milled Soap with Olive Oil to Moisturize and Protect Skin And this one is Rosemary Mint Scented I think it was this one that caught my eye because it mentioned olive oil I love olive oil I just tried that new Starbucks coffee drink. I forget what it's called, like Olio or something. I think it's like a coffee drink with um, olive oil in it. It was so good. Okay. And I thought I'd include this cleaning product. I love buying these washable cleaning cloths. I think I just have two packages of these. I have pink ones, and now I have these green, bluish green ones. Just like cleaning with them instead of using paper towels all the time. Nice and soft. Okay, out last. Eight rolls of paper towels. And they're um, soft on cleaning the countertops. I think I get these from Walmart. Okay. Maybe I'll model them in the video. <laughs> These I picked up at, I think it was Walgreens. <laughs> I just thought they were really cute little slippers. So I usually like to wear Slippers or slides around the house. Uh, just ones that, just ones that I will only wear in the house. You know, I usually take my shoes off when I get home and just put on my house slippers at home. We have a dog. I like to keep my socks nice and clean. So I'll just put on a little pair of slippers or slides. Um, these are so cute, right? With the happy face. So I think they were just like we're under ten dollars for these. All right, so I guess that that's all of the items. I don't think I really missed anything, did I? All right, so I hope that you enjoyed watching. I hope that uh, this was at least a little bit entertaining watching all of these silly little things that I buy, but these are some of my favorite things. And, uh, just thank you so much for watching. <laughs>